progress report for you? Uh, feel great. Um, just doing it, doing exactly what um, Todd has me doing to get back and be out there with the team. Yeah. What have you been doing to kind of stay involved and ready to go whenever your time is going to come? Going to meetings, um, lifting weights, conditioning as much as I can. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just being in tune with everything, you know, just making sure that I hear the little details that they give me or give the guys around me and just making sure I'm just staying locked in. I'm just scared. Go ahead, Tim. I saw when the injury happened and Mike Bray, when he said that, you know, once you got the diagnosis, there was a, a good bit of relief. Yeah. What were you fearing at first? Uh, just knowing, like, I've already been through an ACL injury before. And, um, you know, it's just scary when you, you when you hurt your knee. And uh, I was just thankful, you know, praying. And, you know, God always comes through with his blessings and, you know, everything is okay. So. How do you, how you handle it now as far as knowing when you're good to go? I guess and it's going to be collective between you, trainers, coaches. But will you you going to have to try to be patient yourself? Um, yeah, uh, I mean, I just let God take his course. I don't try to rush anything. When uh, Todd and them tell me that I'm good to go, then I... You know, I'll be prepared to go out and play. So. Was, it, was it a tough pitch? I mean, you had such a great offseason stuck around here, all the mental and physical work you did. It had to have been a, a tough um, moment for you. I would say, yeah, it was, it was kind of frustrating. But, you know, I, I've learned not to, you know, dwell on the downfall of everything, just keep my head high and just keep improving any way that I can. So. Do you feel like you can – you've got yourself in such great shape and we're in such – much of, so much of her zone. Do you lose any about being out a little bit, or you feel like you can kind of? Um, so that's off? that's one thing that uh, myself, Braves, Todd, and um, the uh, strength staff have been doing a great job of keeping me up on my conditioning. That's riding the bike, doing what I can to make sure that I'm good when I get back out there. I feel like you don't know until you get out there in the first game. Uh, obviously, a lot of things we worked on this entire training camp. I uh, feel really good about those things, but at the end of the day, you don't really know until real ball starts, obviously. Just had a really good show in the last preseason game, but we all know when the regular season starts and all the starters are out there. It's a different ball game. So uh, excited to, you know, kind of see where we measure up, you know, starting this first week against a really good offense in New Orleans. Nervousness maybe isn't the right word, but, but that is there a little edge there because you don't know for sure? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I think every year is different. You know, whenever you get to week one of a, you know, NFL season, you got new guys you're playing out there with for the first time. It's always a little, I mean, I still get butterflies every NFL game I play in. So, like I said, it's not any nerves, but it's more just about the unknown of embarking on a whole new season with a different crew. Uh, but it's definitely a lot of excitement, though. You tell just kind of the guys. Uh, today before everyone everything goes down tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, I understand it's a business. And, uh, you know, obviously you want to keep as many guys as you can, especially in our room, man. A lot of the guys, the younger guys, has made a really good impression on myself and the coaching staff. Uh, I can almost make a case that it, <laughs> every one of those guys should make the team. Obviously that's not going to happen. And I'm sure we'll try to bring some of those guys back on the practice squad. But, you know, it's just, you know, it's the realities of this business that, you know, all of us one day will eventually get that call to go upstairs and turn that playbook. So, um, but if it happens in your first year, second year, or, you know, year 10 or whatever it may be, uh, just understand that, you know, the the journey is not over. And, uh, you know, as long as you're able to come in this building, you have a key code, you know, you're still living your dream. So just appreciate every day that you have here. Uh, a mental little challenge that, that way, but um, we had a good group. I mean, uh, we, we definitely didn't start off the way we wanted to. Um, they showed us a couple different looks. We had a couple different things like here and there where guys, you know, um, getting a couple of missed targets and then a couple of the, they just had a good defense for what we were playing. So it was just kind of things like that. But I mean, that's how preseason goes. It's just kind of, it's either really good or really bad sometimes. So it's kind of fun that way. But I mean, it was a good uh, learning experience to be able to like, okay, hey, they came out in something different. How do we respond to that? And then I think guys responded well as the game went on. Yeah, no, I think, um, I mean, I think this preseason was great to be able to go to Minnesota. I remember when we first, first couple plays in that practice, they hit us with like blitz zero corner blitzes. They were throwing everything they had at us. And I mean, that was a great shell shock because at the end of the day, sometimes you go into a game, you expected this defense to do this. And then all of a sudden they just did something completely different. So it's a really good thing for guys to be able to take that and then respond. And I thought the second day in Minnesota we responded really well. Same with the Patriots game. They came out in a nickel defense a little bit more often than we thought. 
um, not playing their true bases like some of the preseason games they showed before. So, I mean, I thought it was a good thing to be able to go from our 12, 21 runs to have to face that nickel piece. A lot of teams will do that, and it does change up who you targeted to. And then how do we figure out how to make sure we're all going to the right guys, we're all on the same page. And I, I think that was a great test for us. And I, I think as the game went on, guys responded really well and, like, you know, adjustments on the sidelines to go back out there and then respond and play well.